Hello, sports fans, baseball fans. I'm here with my 1994 Chicago White Sox out of the park season. As you look at the standings, which is what we're looking at right now, you can see that the White Sox come into a series with Texas with a record of 57 and 49. And the Rangers are at the bottom of their division at 42 and 64. So we're only four games out of our division lead, which is encouraging, although um, the game that we're going to play is the game of August 3rd against the Rangers, and so it's getting late, I mean, is basically what I'm saying. Four games, though, can still be made up from, uh, I mean, it's not that big of a, a thing from the um, beginning of, near the beginning of August to the end of the season to make up four games that's possible and we are uh, along with the indians the only two teams with a chance of catching the royals minnesota is 17 and a half back and milwaukee is 21 back now we are missing joey cora uh, i have been informed that he is on the injured list so we will have to do our best to get by without him um, I have uh, taken the liberty of putting the computer on mute or as low the volume as I can get it. And I put the screencast-o-matic on do not record the computer sounds. So hopefully there will not be a lot of uh, background noise and, um, you know, uh, crowd noise and everything like that in this game. So anyway, you can see the lineups right here on the screen. Well, Cora is actually in the game, so I guess his groin wasn't that big of a deal. Or maybe it might have been a report from a few days ago, and maybe he's okay by now. But anyway, uh, and you can see Darren Jackson and Thomas are on fire. I would expect them to be on fire. And in fact, look at these lineups. Cora is hitting 295. Jackson is hitting 341. Thomas is hitting 342. Franco is hitting 363. Reigns is hitting 314. Oh my God, how are we four games out? Um, Karkovic is only hitting 203, but he has 16 home runs. Guillen is hitting 312. Morgan is hitting 230. And this is um, uh, what is his name? Chris Morgan. Yeah, so um and uh, and then Kim, our third baseman for this game, probably either giving Ventura a rest um, or whatever. I mean, I generally just I I, I I quick play through a lot of games, so I don't um, I'm not like involved in the day to day managing of the team. So I generally go with whatever the computer tells me. And we're going to have Wilson Alvarez on the mound. Right now he's 5-8 and eight with a 521 earned run average and a 145 whip, which isn't so good. But he's going up against Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown is on the year 4-12, and 12, although that's possibly misleading since he is on a terrible team. Uh, but he has a 441 earned run average and a 133 whip. Um, and they have McDowell, who's either tiring or he's playing through an injury. So we'll see how that works out for us. So we're going to start the game. We are the visiting team. We're in Arlington, Texas. So we'll see how that works out um, on the road. There's Kevin Brown, and here's our man Cora leading off. Just going to move myself a little bit right here. No. I didn't want to do that. Um, we'll go back to game action, and then we will swing away. So here we go. Uh, bad Texas team. So you got to hope that we, I mean, this is a, I think it's a three-game series. So got to hope we take all three games of this series. And Brown is ready to go, and uh, he's going to walk Cora. So we got the first guy aboard. Nice. And uh, that brings up Darren Jackson. Now, these first few guys, like I said, they're they're out of their minds with the hitting. So I'm, I'd be crazy to do anything 
really, um, you know, screwed up with them, like trying to bunt or any of that stuff. We're not going to do that. Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas with 31 home runs and, as you saw, has a good batting average. Buddy whiffs. Kevin Brown strikes him out. So we've got runners at first and second with Franco up. I think he's hitting 361, but he's going to ground into a double play, and that's going to be it for us. So we will go to the bottom of the first, and uh, O.D.B. McDowell batting against Wilson Alvarez. Now, if you uh, remember, I did have a game that I televised of the season where Alvarez pitched for me, and he pitched great, and I think he went eight innings trying to remember but he did he pitched a great game let's hope he can turn in another performance like that ground out to the second baseman for another uh two outs and that'll bring up juan gone juan gonzalez and he's going to ground out to first hopefully and he does make the play in time so that's going to be it we'll go to the top of the second in a scoreless game with Tim Rock Reigns leading off for us against Kevin Brown. And that's going to be a pop out. So one down. And uh, Karkovice up. Karkovice not having a good batting average or on base season. But he does have 16 home runs. And he grounds out. And that brings up Ozzie Guillen. Ozzie Guillen hitting 312 this year with 45 RBIs. And he is probably going to ground out, and that should be it for us in the inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Alvarez out there dealing to this Texas lineup. And he walks, he walks the first guy he faces, and now that brings up Will Clark, who many of you may remember of San Francisco fame. Now that, oh, they can only get one. They get Clark at first, but that advances the runner to second. So we got a runner at second um, and one down and Jeff Fry. Jeff Fry, a tough customer, scrappy player, and he's going to hit it down the line against the wall, and that's going to be at least a double. And that's what it is, probably a run scoring double. I'm Let's, I, let's see if it is. Yes, it was a run scoring double for Jeff Fry. And uh, that brings up Alex Trejo, the third baseman. And Alvarez walks him. And so the next batter is going to pop out. So I don't know if Alvarez is going to make it eight innings in this game because he's having a bad second here. Miguel Martinez, the catcher, is up. And that's going to walk the bases loaded right there. Brings up Odeby McDowell. I remember that guy. Um, and this should be an out. And it is. But Alvarez gave up a run. We're losing one nothing Here in the top of the third. With uh, Chris Morgan, our center fielder. He's uh, a guy, again, I don't know if he was ever a real player or not. But uh, he, well, I don't think he was actually anybody named that was on the actual 94 White Sox. And um, Kim is up, the third baseman, giving Ventura a day, and he's out. And for all I know, Ventura is injured. I didn't check that, but that could be the po a possibility too. And Joey Cora will be up. Hitting over 300 on the year. Might leg this one out, but he doesn't. So we go quickly there, and we are in the bottom of the third, losing one nothing. and Rusty Greer playing first base. Rusty Greer, I remember him being an outfielder, but playing first base, wow. All right, so Rusty Greer is aboard with no outs, and uh, that brings up Juan gone again, and you don't want it to be gone, but he hits and he gets a base hit. Hopefully we can stop him. We do stop him. So we stop the base runner at second. But there's runners at first and second with no outs. And Jose Canseco. And he's going to walk and load the bases. So Alvarez not having a game like the one that I remember him pitching for me. That's going to be a fly ball, but it could get a run home. And it will. 
So it's 2 nothing Texas, and Jeff Fry up. Runners are at the corners. One out. I'm going to play for the double play. I don't like bringing the infield in. I hate doing that. And that's what we get. That's exactly what we get. So it is still 2 nothing. Top of the fourth inning. Brown out there dealing still. Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson is going to fly out deep to center. One away. That brings up Frankie Thomas. Would be nice to see him hit one out of here. He walks, though. He gets on base. I'll take it. Uh, Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco, and he's going to hit into a double play. So we're out of the inning quickly again. Now let's take a look at um, Alvarez when he goes out there. Uh, he's not too bad. You can see here on the uh, on his um, fatigue counter, he's not doing too badly. Um, and and uh, yeah, and Alvarez dealing to Alex Trejo. And that's going to be, is that an out? That is an out. Nice play by the center fielder, Chris Morgan. And um, Daniel Diaz is the batter for Texas. Daniel Diaz is going to fly out deep to left field. There's two down, and that brings up Miguel Martinez. And Miguel Martinez is going to hit one. Again, to medium deep left field, but it's an out. We're still only down by two, but it's the fifth inning. Getting a little, getting a little late, but still for two runs, that's not too bad. You got Reigns up against Kevin Brown. And Reigns is going to be out. That speed couldn't help him in that situation. Carco Vice at the plate. Carco Vice is going to hit a fly ball to right. So there's two down and Ozzy Guillen up at the plate facing Kevin Brown and he flies out to left. So that is all she wrote. It's two nothing in the fifth, um, in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, Alvarez still out there giving me a good effort, but still the two runs. I mean, it's really our offense that's the problem here. It's not so much. Although Alvarez has littered the bases with base runners. And uh, boy, he jumped on that like a cat. So it is partially his fault. I mean, it, the two runs is not bad considering the damage they've really been doing with all the base runners they've had. And we go to the top of the sixth, still losing 2 nothing. We'd like to get at least a run here with Chris Morgan up. He made that great diving catch last inning. And he's going to get on by an error. Chris Morgan is aboard by an error by the shortstop. And that brings up uh, Min Ho Kim. And Min Ho Kim is going to get a base hit. I don't think he can advance to third, but we got runners at first and second. We got something brewing here. Joey Cora up. Got Kevin Brown on the ropes, and he hits one down the left field line. I'm going to hold him up. Going to hold him up. I got to feel like, uh, I mean, that, well, that probably would have been a run, but um, we've still got bases loaded, no outs. We better be able to do something with this. Darren, in the heart of our lineup coming up with Darren Jackson. And he's out. He strikes out looking at an outside and low pitch. All right, so you got, come on, Thomas. Thomas. Oh, they cut off the run, and they're going to get a double play. Are they? No. No, they didn't get the double play. But now we got two down. Uh, I should have sent that runner. And now it's all up to Franco. He's got a, it's all up to him. But he hits it up the middle, but Brown gets it right to Brown. It went, it was a comebacker right to the, through the box. All right. So it's two nothing. Um, we got Alvarez out there giving us the blood, sweat, and tears. He's going that extra mile for us with the strikeout of the first guy and Will Clark up now. Surprise this Texas team is as bad as they are. I mean, this is this was a pretty good Texas team. What is that? It, my view was obscured. Was it a home run? No, I guess it was an out. 
We got a got a girder or something from up in the up in the uh, up in the stands it was in my way, and uh, so that's an out and quick out, quick inning for Alvarez. He should be able to give us the uh, um, bottom of the seventh. I'm hoping at least. Um, Reigns senior, and I want to preserve our bullpen anyway for the the uh, other games after this, if possible. So there's one away. Carco Vice. Brown is just really got us hamstrung. But he walks Carco Vice. Not a not a good choice. Um Ozzy Gian up with one down and one on. Ozzy Gian uh, is going to beat out the back end of the play, but the lead runner was eliminated. And that brings Chris Morgan up. And Chris Morgan strikes out. So now it is getting late. I mean, we're still only down by two. But it is getting late this time. It's getting late early, as, they, as uh, what was it, Yogi said or somebody? Well, that's going to be a double into the gap. So it's getting late early, and Alvarez might be winding down. Um, next batter strikes out. So he reached back for a little bit. Got one out with a runner at second and Miguel Martinez up. He strikes out. Alvarez is reaching back for a little extra here. And, yeah, he is just about uh, cooked. As you can see right here, the, the meter, it's getting it's getting down there. But I'm hoping he can get out of this. I don't know. He just, put, he just loaded the bases. I'm hoping he can get out of this inning. I really want him to get out of this inning. And it looks like he will. And he does. So it is still only 2 nothing. And I am going to warm somebody up in the bullpen. Now you can see everybody except Hernandez is tiring. So we're going to, obviously we're going to warm up Roberto Hernandez. Uh, Kim is up at the plate. Kim is going to fly out to center field. There's one down. You could have hoped for an error on that, but that's about it. Top of the eighth here, so it's, you know, it's the 11th hour just about. Cora. Cora! He lines out to second. There's two down quickly and Darren Jackson up. It would be nice to see him make it aboard and then see Big Frank, but no. He flies out to center, so Frank is going to lead off the ninth. I am going to, you can see he's got 112 pitches. Uh, I'm going to see if he can get through something. And he does. He strikes the first guy out. I mean, let's see if he can get through this. And I don't even have to bring Roberto Hernandez into the game. But that's a base hit. And now I will go get Hernandez. And obviously he's ready. And I expected him to be ready. So. There's one down, one on. And Roberto Hernandez smokes the next guy. So there's two down and one on and Alex Trejo. He should make quick work of Trejo and he does strike him out. So we need two runs right here. Big Frank leading it off. He is, even if he doesn't hit a home run, he's a big on base guy. They've got a reliever in, but Frank bounces out. So let's see who this is. Rich Hartlage. I don't even know if there was really a Rich Hartlage, but that's who's in. So you got Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco up, and he's going to hit it to left field. And there's two down. I'm not liking our chances here. Tim Raines, Rock Raines. Rock Raines is going to fly out, it looks like, and that is it. We lose 2 nothing. So a good effort, you know, a good solid effort by Hernandez, but it was all for naught. You can see the box score here. Um, Cora 1 for 3, Jackson 1 for 3, and Kim 1 for 3. So, I mean... They only gave us three hits. And Alvarez pitched seven and a third. He allowed five hits. 
walked six. Like I said, he littered the bases, but he threw 118 pitches and he pitched pretty well, uh, everything considered. We just couldn't do it. We couldn't do it for him. So uh, that's going to be it. And we're back on the standings. And you can see uh, that puts us five games. Well, let's see. Let's finish day. And yeah, that puts us five games back now, 57 and 50. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.